We will start with the preliminary survey. On Google Maps, we will copy the GPS coordinates and paste them into the stratigraphy program. We will check them by visualizing the construction site. Then, we can load the current and historic maps of the area, archive boreholes, and field tests. Next, we can add our own data and maps. We can also export the points into a mobile device and conduct the geological survey and terrain mapping. Now we will import the terrain. We will import the data from the geological survey and the lab. Next, we will create the types of soil and simplify the soil profiles. We will then input the geological cross sections. Now we will generate the 3D subsoil model. We will then input the excavations into the model, either by entering the coordinates or importing them. Next, we can calculate the excavation volumes. Here, we will add the bridge structure as an external object. At this point, we can start the analysis, starting with slope stability. We start by adding a cross section. To do this, copy and paste it into the slope stability program where the analysis can be performed. In the same manner, we can transfer the soil profile into the abutment program for its respective analysis. All geotechnical data from the geological survey to the analysis results is created and stored in the Geo5 programs. However, at any given point, we can share the data with different programs. More information about the GEO5 programs can be found on our website, www.findsoftware.eu.